Hello, and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my buddy David with us from Debug Pest. Hey, David, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Kevin. So why don't we start at the beginning? Give us a little overview of the business. Tell us what you do. All right. So uh, I'm an exterminator. Um, I've been doing this since 1997. I've branched out on my own starting my business, Debug Pest Solutions and Marblehead Mass. And I am now in Pepperell. Uh, I do all general uh, pest control, which is um, uh, ants, carpenter ants, mice, uh, wasps, hornets, centipedes, earwigs. Mm -hmm. I do offer uh, chemical free and chemical mosquito tick treatments. Um, most of the services I do, it's... Um, mostly all warranty. I could do uh, a mouse treatment, warranty it for eight months, or I can set clients on spring and fall treatments. So David, I have a question about ticks. It just seems like the last few years, they've just become, everyone seems to have a tick. You know, I see pictures of people, dogs, whatever. Have ticks always been this bad and we just weren't paying attention or have they gotten worse? Well, that, that's a great question, Kevin. There have always been ticks, but with different pesticides being restricted, uh, ticks are definitely on the rise with people's care of pets. That's on the rise. As far as the animals go, your pets go, even with the tick treatment uh, in your yard, you should still have your dog or cat on a tick treatment. That's the biggest key. Uh, but ticks are definitely bad. The, the more Lyme disease is out there, uh, the more it's known in the news. It's a news, anything that can result in death, medication and hardship treatments um, is gonna be in the news, public awareness. Sure. Now, David, I'm more of a preventive type of guy. You know, I don't want to wait until I get mice, bees, whatever it may be. I believe having you come out and put things down to prevent them makes sense. Am I on the right path? <laughs> well, it, Kevin, you're actually a customer uh, that I love, and that's 90% of my business. Um Again, I've been on my own for 10 years and I treat people every single year and they've never had a problem. Some people during different economic hardship stopped for a year. Guess what? They have a problem. Most things preventative is great. But when it comes to hornets or wasps, I'm going through this right now. Everybody's seeing a hornet wasp in the window and they think there's a big infestation. <laughs> it's too early. So yes, I can do a bee wasp preventative. I'm not a big fan of that because I need to charge three times the amount of money for not really treating. I, you spray here, you do some nope. hot spots um, compared to once the nest happens, that's what I treat. And that's an easy, quick fix sure. with less chemical. So last question, David, what's your service area? How far do you go from Pepperell? So I actually go all the way to Gloucester. So of, of course, Tewksbury, uh, being a resident of Tewksbury for the past eight years up until this April, Tewksbury Bill Ricca is, is my most populated area. Yeah. Of course, my projective is to get Pepperell, Groton, Tingsboro, West, Westford. Um, but I have no problem. I'm out in Gloucester about three days a week. And anything on the way home, like Tewksbury, <laughs> I'll pick up Groton. Obviously, I want to expand in this area. Awesome. David, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? How can they learn more, my friend? 
by calling my phone number at 781-576-9305. I pick up my phone. If I hear it, I pick it up. Um, People are surprised. They call me at 10 o'clock and they think they're leaving a message. I'm like, no, you got the real, <laughs> real person. That's awesome. David, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to call on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Thank you.